space, that vast realm full of more mysteries than certainties, constantly taunting those researchers who peer through telescope lenses at the immeasurable emptiness that lies beyond our atmosphere. Although new discoveries are constantly being made thanks to the constantly improving technology that we have at our disposal, these discoveries do not always provide us with exact answers about space. In fact, frequently a new discovery means uncovering even more mysterious and unanswerable questions. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at three interesting space discoveries. The supermassive black hole at our galaxy's centre suddenly lit up. Black holes are an entity that many space fanatics are fascinated with, and Sagittarius A star is no exception. Despite the connotations of the name, a black hole is far from empty. In fact, on average, black holes contain roughly 10 times the matter of our Sun squeezed into an area roughly equal to that of New York City. This incredibly concentrated mass is one of the most massively dense areas in the universe and has such a large gravitational pull that nothing, not even light particles, can escape, creating the visual impression of a great emptiness. Because no light, electromagnetic or radio waves can escape a black hole, they can't be viewed with any telescope or imaging methods and the presence of a black hole must be deduced through studying the effect on its gravitational pull on nearby matter. As dust and gas are rapidly sucked in by this massive gravitational pull, a large amount of heat is generated, which gives off a flickering glow when viewed with an ultraviolet telescope. This vacuum-like phenomenon is called accretion, and the flaming disk around the mouth is known as the accretion disk. Residing at the galactic center of the Milky Way and measuring over 22 million kilometers wide, with a mass equal to that of 3.6 million suns, Sagittarius A star has been classified as a supermassive black hole by NASA. Within the past year, scientists have noticed that Sagittarius A star's accretion disk has begun flaring approximately 75 times brighter than it has in the 20 years since monitoring first began. Since space has existed for billions of years, it has established a pattern of relative constancy and predictability, so any change in behaviours of galactic bodies is noteworthy. Although researchers are unsure as to the exact reason why this accretion glow is so much brighter, they theorise that it could be that more gas is being sucked into the mouth, causing more heat to be generated. A second theory speculates that a large gaseous object named G2, which has been approaching Sagittarius A star since 2014, has finally been engulfed. However, these theories are unconfirmed and scientists admit they cannot definitively say why the glow has increased by such a large amount. Some acknowledge that the black hole could also potentially be expanding as it continues to suck matter in and increase its mass. Although black holes do not move around the galaxy and Sagittarius A star has been anchored in the same place for billions of years, as more and more matter folds into its mouth, the mouth will inevitably continue to expand. Currently classified as a supermassive black hole, perhaps the increased glow indicates that Sagittarius A star is well on its way to joining the ranks of the categorically ultra-massive. Nonetheless, at over 25,000 light-years away, it is safe to say that we have several million years before we have to be worried about our galaxy collapsing into the hungry mouth of Sagittarius A star. GRB 190114C Gamma Ray Burst Gamma ray bursts are incredibly powerful astronomical events that were first noted by scientists around 46 years ago. Although mysterious and not fully understood, they are fairly common and can be observed randomly in space almost every day. The most common cause of a gamma-ray burst is when an enormous star, exponentially larger than our own Sun, runs out of fuel. The core collapses on itself, forming a black hole, which then projects particle rays from inside the blast through the outer remnants of the star. These initial particle rays react with the mass around it to form hugely powerful jets of gamma rays, which are the most highly energetic wavelength and move at almost 100% the speed of visible light. These initial bursts last for only a minute or two, followed by what scientists have termed the afterglow. 
This afterglow surrounds the site of the burst for several months following the event and is caused by the continued interaction of the ejected jets with surrounding space particles, which emit light on all frequencies across the wavelength spectrum from radio waves to gamma rays. Such a collapse of matter resulting in long-lasting jets of incredibly powerful gamma waves is collectively known as a gamma-ray burst phenomenon and is widely studied in the field of astronomy. Previously, because the initial bursts are so short-lived and occur randomly in space, research regarding this phenomenon was limited to what astrologists could observe from the long-lasting afterglows, which are a representation of the burst event at lower energies. Because these events are the most powerful explosions in the universe and understanding is limited to conclusions gathered from study of the phenomenon at its least energetic form, researchers have made numerous attempts to view and capture the initial gamma-ray burst, not just the afterglow, for analysis. And on the afternoon of January 14, 2019, they had a stroke of luck. NASA's Fermi Gamma-Ray Space Telescope and Neil Gerl's Swift Observatory detected the gamma radiation from a pair of enormous bursts originating from the Fornax constellation and alerted the major atmospheric gamma imaging Cherenkov Observatory, which was able to automatically detect and record the burst of a mere 50 seconds after it began. The two gamma ray bursts, named GRB 190114C, emitted the highest energy rays ever witnessed in such an event making the gamma rays projected from the site of the burst the highest energy wavelengths ever recorded. Researchers are still attempting to determine whether or not the unusually dense environment of the system, which occurred at the nuclear center of several interconnecting galaxies, was what might have been conducive to such a large burst. This documentation of a component of a gamma ray burst that has not been able to be widely studied especially when the event in question is the largest ever recorded, will help scientists to look at gamma-ray theory from an entirely new perspective. Further analysis of the recordings of the initial event compared with continued study of the afterglow will radicalize the way that scientists study gamma-ray theory. NASA launched an atomic clock into space. Atomic clocks have been hailed as the superior method of timekeeping since the 1950s due to their incredible accuracy even over extremely long periods of time. Where pendulums and quartz crystal clocks develop discrepancies and can vary between devices, atomic clocks use the frequency of electrons vibrating back and forth when exposed to radio waves, which is an almost impossibly precise method of measurement, and one that allows GPS satellites to pinpoint locations with nearly complete accuracy. These GPS satellites work by using an atomic clock to measure the amount of time it takes for a signal to travel between two points, a necessarily precise science in space travel where the difference of a single second can mean either landing on Mars or ending up hundreds of thousands of miles away. However, one limitation of the atomic clock is space. Each clock paired with a GPS satellite is about the size of a refrigerator and must remain on Earth when navigators use its measurements to triangulate the location of spacecraft and then communicate instructions to the astronauts on board. It is a time-consuming process and limits the distance of missions, as spacecraft must remain within range of the GPS satellites and Earth. An on-board atomic clock would mean that the astronauts could calculate their own trajectory rather than relying on communication from Earth for direction. However, the current design of an atomic clock is too bulky and will not stand up to the changing environment of space travel, which limits the possibilities of astronauts exploring deep space. Until recently, there has been no reliable method for keeping time while outside of Earth's gravitational pull. In June of 2019, NASA placed their newly developed deep space atomic clock on a spacecraft to orbit Earth for a year. The Deep Space Atomic Clock was developed at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena, California, and has been in experimental orbit since June as they test its accuracy over extended periods of time outside of Earth's controlled environment. If the timekeeping remains unaffected by the conditions of space, the Deep Space Atomic Clock will be the first atomic clock with the design and functionality to pioneer expeditions in the cosmos.
Current measurements estimate that the clock, which is powered through mercury-ion technology, is 50 times more stable than current atomic clocks on GPS satellites and will lose one second every 10 million years. If it upholds these measurements as it orbits on the spacecraft, independent space travel could be much closer than we think. Increasing technology has allowed us to increase our understanding of the galaxy and has answered many questions that were previously thought unanswerable. However, the longer we observe the cosmos around us and the further we venture into those mysterious depths, the more we realize how very little we truly understand and grasp about the mechanics of space. Perhaps one day we will be able to locate alien life, or even establish colonies on other planets. But even then, we may never know exactly how many more mysteries lie hidden within the immeasurable expanse of the Milky Way and beyond. But what do you make of these fascinating space discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.